Okay, I'm back. Welcome to I See the Line of Prophetess Regina. I'm the line. I'm back with another one. God bless. Let me go ahead and finish. So today is December the 19th. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the 19th book of the New Testament. The 19th book in the New Testament would be Hebrews. So I'm going to 12. And I'm going to read from verse 4 on up. So, here we go. It says, You are struggling against sin. Build your but your struggles have not got... No, but your struggles have not yet caused you to be killed. Five, you have forgotten the encouraging words that call you his children my child don't think the lord disciplines is the is worthy is worth nothing let me start over it says my child don't think the lord's discipline is worth nothing and don't stop trying when he corrects you the Lord disciplines those he loves and he punishes everyone he accepts as his child. That can also be found in Proverbs 3, 1, 11 and 12. Continuing on, it says in 7, So hold on through your strugglings because they are like a father's discipline. God's treating you as a child. All children are disciplined by their fathers. If you are never disciplined, you are not true children. So it takes, no, let me stay, stop. It is even more important that we accept discipline from the father of our spirits. So we will have life. 11. We do not enjoy being disciplined. It is painful at times. But later, after we have cleaned or cleared from it, we have been cleared from it, we have peace because we start living in the right living in the right way 12 you have become weak so make yourself strong again keep on the right path so the weak will not stumble but rather be strengthened 14 try to live in peace with all people and try to live free from sin Anyone whose life is not holy will never see the Lord. Be careful that no one fails to receive God's grace and begins to cause trouble amongst you. A person like that can ruin many of you. You see? Be careful that no one takes part in sexual sins or is like Esau and never thinks of God as the oldest son Esau was would have received everything from his father but he sold all that for a single meal 18 you have not come to a mountain that can't be that can be touched and that is burning with fire you have not come to darkness, sadness, and storms. You have not come to the noise of a trumpet or to the sound of a voice like the one the people of Israel heard and begged not to hear another word. 20. They did not want to hear the command, if anything, even 
an animal touches the mountain, it must be put to death with stones. 22. But you have come to Mount Zion, to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem. You have come to thousands of angels gathered together with joy. You have come to the meeting of God's firstborn children whose names are written in heaven. You have come to God. Oh, Jesus, yes. The judge of all people and the spirit of good people who have been made perfect. You have come to Jesus, the one who brought the new agreement from God to his people and have come to the sprinkled blood that has a better message than the blood of Abel. 25. So be careful and do not refuse to listen when God speaks. Others refused to listen to him when he warned them on earth and they did not escape. So it will be worse for us if we refuse to listen to God who warns us from heaven. 26. When he spoke before, his, his voice shook the earth, but also the heavens. The words once again clearly show us that everything that was made things that can be shaken will be destroyed only the things that cannot be shaken will remain 28 so let's be thankful we have a kingdom that cannot be shaken we should worship god in a way that pleases him with respect and fear because our God is like a fire that burns things up. That is the end of my um my uh, message from the Word. Um, remember to respect the Lord and fear the Lord and do what is right by the Lord and please the Lord with all your heart and effort. Amen and amen. Because this is a warning from the Lord. This is a warning from God letting us know from heaven, hey, I'm giving you a chance to clear it up. To, to um, I'm going to take away the pain, the pain that you've been caused. It wasn't all in vain. It was for a reason. It's to prepare you for the good life, for a better life, to appreciate when you get to where you're going, okay? So let me keep on going. Uh, I got number... 29 here which is associated with the moon and the celtical um, body that is, um, symbolizes emotions, intuition and the subconscious mind so it says intuition and psychic abilities is um, a number associated with the number 29 and it says I, I went ahead and looked up the angel number for 28 because I didn't. It says, welcome in abundance, living in the moment, learning to let go of old cycles to make way for um, spectacular new uh, um, new starts. So, like I said in the first video, we're letting go of all the pain. We're praying, we're praying to release the pain. Um, God put us in the pain for a reason so that we can grow. So he can discipline us. So he can get rid of, uh, it. hey, we're praying off this pain let you feel that pain and you want to pray that pain off he gets you closer to jesus see you be like i can't take this pain no more you start running to jesus don't you and once you get over there you start feeling the love of jesus you about be like you know what this is the way to go i don't want it no other way this is the right way this feels good once you get a taste of a good taste of jesus a good taste of love a good a good feel of Ooh. and you think back and God shows you all the pain you've been through and how your heart hurt and how it don't ache no more you'll be like you know what I want to stay with Jesus because Jesus got me amen so also um, 29 AD was the last calendar year of his earthly ministry during 29 AD he his mis 
miraculous he miraculously fed five thousand and again in Galilee he he said it was said that forty thousand in number who had come to hear him preach okay and was fed as well and it says he explained to the disciples that it was God's will for him to suffer and die and to be resurrected after the third day or on the th uh, after three days he taught it was necessary for the son of man to suffer many things and to be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and to be killed only to rise from the dead look at god so that is my message yeah that was it that was what i wanted to talk about look at god so see all the suffering that i've been going through is not in vain god says so he puts his his his, his special people um through a, a tremendous amount of suffering so that your faith can be built up in him so that you can release um heal from the past you you you, you will start to see the the <coughs> excuse me this is the truth the causes of the problems weren't necessarily you they came from somewhere else but he's showing you how to let it go release it acknowledge it feel the pain what you feel the pain the pain runs you to jesus then because he felt the pain on the cross he felt he felt built the pain when they um tortured him and um beat him and and did all kind of misses and stabbed him and did all kind of things to him and and made and made him try to put him to shame the, the, the walk of shame and all those things so yeah if he suffered definitely we gonna suffer you know to get to get to a better mind frame to get the healing to release the to not live in the pain no more i don't walk i don't want to walk in pain no more that's why i said i forgive everybody that's done something to me just because i forgive you don't mean i have to deal with you anymore so my thing is i want a new life and it says i've been reading all these scriptures telling y'all you got to leave those people in the past it's called left behind and i'm leaving a lot of people behind forgive me if i hurt you but you need to find your own way to the, your prompt your promised land my promised land said i can only take myself now i got all this junk in here and um what i'm about to do now is go because it's just too much i'm gonna start going through it and um it's like little by little i got a few items i'm gonna take to the south to the um goodwill drop off and i'm gonna do that until i clear out some of this stuff because it's all nice stuff that's the deal it's just too much i don't need it all i'm uh, i'm keeping it most of it because it's winter time and i want to be warm but let me keep on going so that was the message and i had some more um downloads here um this one fell out it says the devil wants you in a mental prison um he hate the devil hates to see you understand and breaking codes and um getting in your costly records and healing the, the the devil doesn't want you in your contract with god look at look at that that's what i was just talking about the pain and it says motive a reason for doing something especially one that is hidden or not obvious um most of the time people come at you throughout your life and and mistreat you and um mishandle you and do you dirty when you're a chosen person so you you wonder why you're like why i got a good heart why does people treat me they don't like your good heart they have motives motives to back back you up motives to stop you motives to keep you in the, in around them so they can suck off your good energy um they play the victim they play the victim as though you did something to them oh yeah i am a deep i am a deep thinker and let's see what else and it says not giving them any attention no no more attention from me god bless you but you don't get the, if i give you my attention i'm giving you my energy and i choose to keep my energy for the purpose of my work with god and what else and it says i'm i'm, I'm looking forward to living a brand new life yes jesus thank you lord thank you these are the ones that fell out on the side from yesterday it says we're doing some preaching and some teaching in the name of Jesus Bay. We're doing some preaching and teaching, Bay. I love Bay. Y'all, I can't wait to be a tag team partner. I always wanted, I used to say, I 
I used to think this other person was my tag team partner. No, God said my tag team partner is Bay. We gonna be. Ooh, they say that women aren't supposed to preach. People are so. This is now. Or oh, women can slide down a pole. Women can um, gyrate, and women can go do all kind of things to make their body be more desirable to men. But women can't get on a podium and preach the word of the Lord. That is a disgrace. Y'all need to stop with y'all shenanigans. It's ridiculous and really asinine. Let me keep going. I feel it all over my body. I feel it. Yep. I feel it all over. And it says there's toxic families out there that need healing. And that's what we're trying to do. We're going to bring, hey, we're going to break down them families. And, and build them back up in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And some of them people in your family and make it toxic. You're just going to have to leave them behind. Yep. That's what it's going to have to boil down to. Yep. Let's see what else. And I got here. The golden rule is do not do unto others what you would not want others to do unto you. To live a peaceful life. And I got here. I stand on big faith. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the saints. Can I say hello to the saints? What it do, saints? Let me turn my car on. My mouth my, my start moving funny, y'all. Got no juice in my phone. And it says here, though. 